Did I make? There we go. Number six. That is weird. I'm not like Jim Murray. We're all we're all humans. We're all equal. <laughs> 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 you just got Jim Murray. <laughs> I got Jim Murray. <laughs> it was always going to go. <laughs> what are we saying for colour? Same again. <laughs> Pale gold. Yeah. <laughs> Pale gold. I mean, we could call it antique gold this time to yeah, mix things up. Antique gold. Antique gold. Um, yeah. This is the first time I've picked up on any sort of smoke, smoky, peaty notes. Mm-hmm. I thought it was quite malty. It is. I, I think it's, it, it also have like a new make, really sharp floor mm-hmm. notes. Yeah, that definitely feels like young whiskey. Yeah. I got like fresh kind of sea spray, so almost like you're walking on a beach. And... Oh. Yeah, I got that as well. Yeah, uh, kind of whispered of smoke, so like maybe like a burnt out kind of wooden fire that's been on the beach, but it was mm-hmm. like lit like the night before or something, and it's kind of just all kind of cindered down, but just that wee hint in the air of something, a fire from the night before. I think we're approaching Isla territory. Yay! Oh, I agree, I agree. <laughs> I agree too. Yeah. Yeah. If I was to hazard a guess, I'd agree. It's um, it's very light, but it's light. It's not. It's not like heavily like, uh, bag or anything. Smoked bacon, you know. Oh, maybe. <laughs> it's like a bit of a musty hay smell under there. Mm. Right. Well, we taste yeah. it. Yeah. I love this room. It's so good. <laughs> Tastes like banana muffin and. And raisin, dried raisin, oh. and the really mild smoke is nicely mm. laid out from sm- start to finish. For me, this might be one of the most subtle smoky whiskies I've like mm. ever had. It's like when you get seafood, and you just sprinkle the lemon on the top of it. Mm. Mm. Right, add a wee bit water. Yeah. Is anyone else getting like? So I've got the wet hay, but I'm also getting a sort of salty chocolate. There's definitely, I think for me, it's more sweet now. Mm. Yeah, the first thing I put was sweet tobacco. So like, mm. just a slight smoke with sweetness coming through. Still going kind of lemon on kind of fresh cooked seafood, mm. sea spray. Um, overall, much sweeter, yeah. Taste the water now. Love it. It's like creamy pasta with... Mussels. Don't Mussels. Mussels. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. No, I think, I think this PM. for me has definitely moved on from moved on from smoke to the, the saltiness. Um, I think Ryan's original comment of the, the smoke at the beach, um, that, that sums it up for me, the whole journey. Yeah. I also get a lot of bitterness after adding mm. water and... Like cocktail ingredients, maybe like celery bitter. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting those like, kind of citrusy notes opening out, like kind of lemon, I think, but not quite as sharp as I'm expecting. Lemon and grapefruit and kind of sour. But then also kind of like a nice long creamy mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I would agree with that. Just now thinking of like a fish with a lemon in its mouth. Cut and skink. Oh, yes. oh nice. Yeah. Cut and skink in a whiskey. Yeah. Don't want anyone thinking this smells like haddock or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut and skink. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that nice creaminess to it. It's got, I mean, I got, I got fruitier flavours coming through as well. Yeah, just your fruits in the, in the taste of water. As in maybe it would go quite well with fish. Oh, yeah. I think so, yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. That'll be an excellent pair, I think. I think it's still really young whiskey, so I think this has heaps of potential. Mm-hmm. I think it's nice as it is. <laughs> yeah, I just get a feeling it's young whiskey. I could be wrong on this. We'll find out at the end. I was going to say this one is right up my alley. Uh, even though it's it's clearly quite young, but I like what I'm tasting, and I think it has great potential. 